into my April reset routine. We're really just gonna dive right into the video. We have a lot to get done today. We have a lot to do. We're gonna be reviewing my March goals, seeing how well we did, and spoiler alert, it was just not a good month for me. So yeah, everyone has those bad months. March was my month, so just saying that. Then we're gonna dive right into all of the goals for April. We have so much coming up with April. Then we're gonna be diving into the content calendar. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of the YouTube videos that I'm gonna be posting within the month of April. Of course, you guys can go ahead and take inspiration from that. I really don't mind, but a lot of these videos are gonna be pretty exciting. So just letting you guys know that. And I'm so excited for April's content. There's so much going on. And then lastly, we're gonna be doing a little Little bit of budgeting because we have a big move coming up so there's a lot of expenses that come along with that move so you know that typically don't happen in a regular month so we're going to be going into that a little bit as well so yeah if you guys are new here definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe my name is Kate you guys can also go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all of my social channels will be linked down below as well so first up we're going to be jumping into my March goals so this is my planner I have two planners actually they're both from Papier. They're so, so cute. They have these beautiful prints on them. I have this really pretty one with hearts. And then I have my like monthly and yearly planner, which is also pink and red. If you can't tell, I really like that color combination. But these are so cute. I actually do have a discount code as well. So I'll leave it on the screen for you guys. But yeah, no need to purchase. I don't get anything from it. But you guys like those designs they are really cute so here are all of my March goals I'm gonna start off with social first and I'm just gonna say that first of all I did not hit any of these goals which is totally okay and also just keep in mind that the actual month of March hasn't finished yet it's actually the 24th the day before I post this video so there are still a couple more days to go but as you guys know I did start a new YouTube channel so I'm just not even taking this into account I really just wanted to switch it up and really just I, there's so much change going on in my life I kind of wanted a new YouTube channel as well um, for Instagram, I'm really close. I'm about 100 followers away from 3K, which is super exciting. TikTok, I'm also really close to 2,000. Um, I may be like 100 away, I think, as well. So really, you know, not far off these two goals. In terms of my actual goals, like I mentioned... So many of these, like, I feel like I did not hit or didn't even try. So number one was one content day a week, and I was going to do this on Sundays. I did not do a single content day, unless you count seeing my friend Rachel, which was kind of like an unplanned content day, and we shot a couple photos. But other than that, I've been really off my Instagram game. I haven't been posting a lot. We've just had a lot going on in the month of March, and, like, my Instagram has really taken the back burner for that. Number two was one sunrise per week until we leave and we literally leave um and we literally leave florida one week from today and i have not even woken up for one sunset which is atrocious because now the sunrise is only at 7 30 so it's really not even that hard but I haven't even done it once hopefully i'll do it this weekend we'll see we'll see other than that so pull the trigger on a new couch i actually just did that i kid you not like 15 minutes before this video and that's going to be in a vlog where <laughs> where i show you what couch we got so stay tuned for that completely pack everything in boxes um by 329 pretty much we are ready to go on the packing side i have another I have a big packing vlog coming really soon and we're almost ready for our move. So I know for sure that we're gonna have everything packed up by then. So I'm kind of ticking this prematurely because I know this weekend I'm filming a huge packing vlog for you guys and it's gonna be crazy. So yeah. And then other than that, I changed one of my goals, which was run six to eight miles per week. And I changed it. I really have like gone off running for now. I still love it, but I have actually found new inspiration to get back into the gym. So four or five times per week. And that's what I've been doing since I started that in the second week of March. And I've been really loving getting back into weighted workouts and then also 12, 3, 30, which is such a good cardio session as well. So those are the March goals. Definitely not my best month. That's that's for sure but it's totally okay just because things didn't go your way one month doesn't mean you can't turn them around and obviously we can take some of these goals and reuse them for April as well that's no big deal so let's 
jump right into them. So beginning with social goals. Um, obviously I'm starting a brand new YouTube channel. This is actually my first video. I just felt really inspired to just start something new and fresh. I feel like I, there's so much going on in my life. Like I just got married, I'm moving, all these things. And I kind of just love change and I wanted to just try it out. And yeah, you guys can follow along on my journey, but pretty much I'm starting a brand new channel and this is obviously video one. So, so my goal is to hopefully hit 500K in my first month. It's a little bold, but I think because obviously like I had a YouTube channel in the past, like hopefully some people will go ahead and follow me. But I think it is like, I don't want to rely completely on that thinking I'll do really well my first month so we will just see how we go so I'm you know hopefully just thinking we'll get something around 500 for my first month but we'll see so for Instagram 2950 pretty self-explanatory I've been kind of bad on Instagram but I really want to try and improve a little bit this month um, TikTok, hopefully 2,000. Again, another platform that I feel like I've just been neglecting a little bit. Um, but I definitely love posting on there. And I always post a ton of fashion content on my TikTok if you guys ever want to go follow me on there. So let's jump into the real thing, the goals. So goal number one, work out four to five times a week. This is kind of similar to what I had last month. I just want to keep it up. I feel like with summer around the corner, I really do want to, you know, keep working out as one of my goals. I think four to five times a week is a great goal. This obviously does include cardio, which would be my 12, 3, 30. So obviously some days can be more relaxed and others can be, you know, more in the gym and more weighted workouts. So yeah. Number two is to read my devotional daily. So I'll pop a photo of my devotional that I have. I got this about a week ago and I've been going pretty strong with it. Keep, <laughs> keep in mind, I have, you know, my husband reminding me also to read my devotional every morning, which is really great to have someone to hold you accountable um so i've been loving that and i really do want to keep it up i think it's a hundred day devotional so i want to see if i can do a hundred days all in one go no like slacking on it so we'll see how we go number three post four instagram photos out of my comfort zone i thought this would be more of a fun challenge than just saying that i want to post this many times on instagram i kind of want to challenge myself to post you know maybe one photo a week that's super creative out there something different something really cute that i haven't done before whether it's a different pose or just a really creative photo in general i thought that was kind of a fun goal and it forces me to really think outside of the box instead of just posting my standard photos so we'll see follow me there to see what i end up doing then number four is get one video on my channel a thousand views obviously starting a new channel i have no idea how it's going to go um but i would love at least in the first month for one of my videos to get a thousand views or more and yeah we'll see how we go i'll be curious to see at the end of the month how well we did and then number five is to not miss an upload. I feel like that is probably one of the key things with starting a new channel. I cannot miss an upload. I need to stick to my upload schedule, especially when YouTube is just starting to get to know my channel. Then the last goal, number six, save 500 to a thousand dollars in our house funds so if you guys are new you don't know my story at all pretty much we my husband and i are looking to buy a house so we already have a pretty good savings account we honestly assumed we were going to be buying a house you know this year and that didn't end up happening because we ended up moving and signing an apartment instead to a brand new state hopefully next year will be the year that we get a house and if so we do want to just improve on the down payment that we already have so we have obviously a little bit of a down payment. We're first time home buyers, so we don't need too much for a down payment. But I think with this year and everything going on, I really do want to commit to having a bigger down payment. And obviously being completely debt free is one of our other goals for this year. So that would be really, really exciting. So I just put 500 to 1000 just because I know we are moving this month. So, so depending on moving costs, um, I'm not sure how much we're gonna save. But hopefully, you know, anything like that would be really, really good. So those are my goals for April. Yes, you crazy girl. What's up? Look at her. Hi. Okay, so let's jump into the content planning section, which is always one of my favorite things to do for the month. So I actually already went ahead and planned out my entire April um, content calendar before this because I wanted to have a bunch of new and exciting ideas for you guys, especially with launching my new channel. I wanted to have a lot of exciting content. And obviously some of it was really easy to come up with because a lot of it is gonna be moving blocks. You guys can 
See my dog honey right here. So let's just get into it. I'm going to pop a little photo of my Google Calendar up on the screen for you guys so you guys can see a little bit better. But I absolutely love planning everything on my Google Calendar. It is just so easy to, you know, change things around if I want to, you know, post something on a different day, you know, change the video completely instead of doing a traditional planner. Don't get me wrong, I still love physical copies and I normally transfer everything in my Google Calendar over into my physical planner as well just so that I can see whenever I need to check things, but Google Calendar is just so amazing and of course I love how you can just like color coordinate everything so obviously mine is super simple so everything in red is everything to do with YouTube uploads anything in like a light blue is normally me having to film things so I know exactly when I'm filming things and when they're going to be uploaded the dark um the dark pink is anything in Pinterest and a light pink would be anything for Instagram and then anything personal like you guys see here um, I move in April 1st is in blue and then you guys can also see that I actually have a trip to Colorado as well which will obviously you know that's the last weekend in April I will be filming that as well but that will be May content so you guys will see that anyway but that's a little sneak peek of what I have going on this month so when you guys see this video exactly one week from today we'll start the April content the first thing obviously being my packing vlog it's gonna be a big packing vlog of obviously packing and then cleaning the apartment which I'm gonna be doing this weekend so stay tuned for that then I was thinking of doing the empty apartment tour or a moving vlog it obviously just depends on how things go I've actually never seen this apartment in real life before or even been to that state before which is gonna be super exciting so the first couple of videos will definitely be lots of moving content then I wanted to do like a week in my life, kind of exploring the new city that we're in, which is so exciting. Definitely wanted to get in a spring morning routine. I'm such a morning routine girl, and recently I've added a couple of new things into my morning routine, so I want to be able to share that with you guys, and then obviously show you my new morning routine in my new apartment, which I'm so excited for. Then I was thinking of doing a weekend vlog, you know, something a little more relaxed, nothing, you know, work dedicated and just do some really fun, like touristy things. I thought that would be really fun as well. Then a good old work from home vlog because I, that's like my, literally my life. I work from home nine to five in marketing. So I figured I would do a little work from home vlog for you guys. And then obviously end of the month will be another reset. It'll be a May reset. And then I don't know what to do for the last video of the month. Maybe another work from home, like week in my life. I don't know. I think we'll see how we go. And obviously this is all like tentative and could definitely change, but that's what I'm thinking for April. So as you guys know, we are now in the last section of the video, which is going to be about budgeting. I am not a huge budgeting person. That is my husband. He has monthly budgets and everything like that. Obviously I have access to them, but I don't feel like showing you guys all of my personal information, including obviously how much we make and what we spend on rent and everything like that but I thought it would be fun just to talk about like some upcoming expenses we have because obviously we are moving so I wanted to be transparent moving is not cheap whatsoever um, obviously we are moving several states away so it can add up quite a bit but we I think did it pretty affordably we're really not spending too too much money probably one of the biggest tips I have is save all of your boxes we saved every single box that we moved here with to Florida um, and save them and reuse them for this move so that way we don't actually have to buy new packing materials I'm gonna pop it on the screen here as well and let's talk about the upcoming expenses for the move so number one a u-haul that is the way that we've decided to go it is the most affordable way by far <laughs> obviously moving companies are very very expensive movers are very expensive but we've actually sold most of our furniture so we really don't actually have too much to move so we decided to do a 10 foot u-haul which was actually $500 which is a great deal one tip that we have is in the area we are in it's a little bit more expensive here and it was going to be a thousand dollars for the u-haul we actually went two suburbs up to an area that is you know probably like not as desirable a little bit cheaper more affordable living and the price was $500 we saved 50% by picking it up in a different suburb so that's a little tip if you guys are moving that saved us a lot of money then we had to factor in gas obviously gas right now is insanely expensive so Justin kind of like budgeted that out and said it's probably going to be around 500 for gas so pretty much what we're paying for the u-haul 
all we're also going to pay for in gas driving up and I don't even know if that includes the car that I'm driving which is our personal car but obviously that's cheaper and more fuel efficient than a U-Haul so it probably won't be too much more. So like I mentioned we sold a lot of our furniture. We actually sold our second bed because we're moving into a one bedroom instead of a two bedroom. We sold our couch because our new puppy honey literally destroyed it. It was so bad. So we sold that as well and we actually sold a couple of other things including a table, just things that were kind of cluttering this place and we actually made quite a bit of money off everything. So we actually made a thousand dollars. So that's how I guess I can justify us buying a new couch where we don't have one. Obviously with the market right now, getting a couch is so hard. I had my heart set on this beautiful couch that was only 1800 but it is back ordered until September. So the couch we ended up buying uh, literally like a couple minutes ago is actually $2,995. It is not a cheap couch, but obviously you can get a lot more expensive couches out there. I really hope this one is gonna be good quality because it is, you know, three grand and that is a lot of money for a couch, but I'm just being transparent with you guys. Um, but we did save a thousand dollars from everything that we sold off Facebook marketplace So we are only going to be you know spending two grand on a new couch all in all our total expenses for this moving trip is three thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars So literally four grand to move to another state. It isn't cheap Obviously, that's four grand that you could you know normally put towards um, You know your rent or anything like that. I guess one plus of us Moving to this new state is we're actually going to be saving quite a bit on rent, which is going to be really nice. If you do count the thousand dollars that we did save by, you know, you know, selling some of our old furniture, we have a total of, you know, pretty much three grand, two thousand nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. So that is going to be everything for my April monthly reset. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and hopefully got some inspiration for your monthly reset. Definitely make sure to, you know, either watch this video again and do it along with me, or I hope you were actually doing it with me the whole time that would have been really fun but I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely make sure to subscribe I'm so excited for all of this change and just really this new chapter in my life of growth so if you guys want to follow along with me and see where I'm moving see the moving vlogs and all of that fun kind of content um, definitely make sure you subscribe and stick around for more so I'll see you guys all in the next video bye everyone